This is 40 years ago in America, nobody liked Iran. Still, nobody likes Iran. I live there, I know. The only people in America who like Iran are Iranians. Iranians were very proud people. Iranians, we love everything about Iran. Iran's of the history of Iran, the culture of Iran, the poetry of Iran, the language of Iran. The, yes, the food of Iran. Look at that. Look at that. You all just woke up like it's a soccer match or something. Iranians love everything, the poetry, the history, the language, the culture. Iranians love everything about Iran, but they hate each other. If you ever run into an Iranian, they go, Iran is land of uh, Persopolis and Cyrus the Great and the poetry of Rumi and Hafez and Khayyam and Ferdowsi and the food and the culture and the land, but never do business with an Iranian. <laughs> Piece of shit, they rip you off! But the poetry, the poetry is amazing. The... I actually think every culture has that guy, right? Egyptians, you have that guy? You have a lot of those guys. Indians, there's a billion of you. You must have a lot of those guys too. <laughs> right, the Indonesian, you have that guy? You don't have, you're all nice? You're what? They're, you're all busy farming? <laughs> shit! So that's the key. If you farm, you don't talk shit about each other. Because you're so busy, you're like, you know, if I could stop picking this shit, I would talk shit about that guy. <laughs> but I gotta pick stuff, I don't have time. <sighs> Iran has had it bad in America. Iran has been in every travel ban the Trump administration has put out. Right, 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. First of all, they put out a new travel ban every three months, like it's an iPhone update. I can't wait till they come out with travel ban X, like the iPhone X. Maybe it'll come with facial recognition. You just ban yourself. You're like, oh shit, I'm not getting in, I'm not getting in. No, but you guys know Iran, Syria, a few of the other countries. Yes, there you are, Syria. Together, we're not going anywhere together. You too. What's your name, Syrian dude? What's your name? Atel? Atel. Have you been to America lately? No, and you won't be. <laughs> yeah. Atel, you know, travel ban 1.0, 2.0, they were all Muslim countries, so people started complaining. They said that the Trump administration is anti-Muslim. So for travel ban 3.0, they wanted to show how not anti-Muslim they are, so they added three new countries to show how not anti-Muslim they are. They added uh, North Korea. I never knew they were coming. I've lived in America 40 years. I've never met a North Korean. Never met a Korean and be like, you from the South? No, I'm from the North. But now they really can't come, Atel. They also added Venezuelan diplomats. So not the whole country, just 10 dudes from Venezuela. They can't come. And then they added Chad, which I thought was some guy I was watching the news, I go, what did Chad do? I have a friend named Chad, I called him up, I go, bro, you can't come. He goes, bro, I'm already here. You guys know, it turns out Chad is actually a Muslim country in Africa. Chad does not sound like the name of a Muslim country. Chad sounds like a Muslim country trying to pretend not to be a Muslim country. Right? It's like, hi, we are Chad. Just hanging out in Africa. Near Egypt and Nigeria, I mean Eric and Nick. <laughs> but now actually Chad is no longer on the list, Atel. So if you have any Chadonian friends or Chadonese or Chadonites, I don't know what you call someone from Chad. Let the Chadonanos know that they can come. Syrians, Iranians still no come. Libyans still can't come. Uh, there's a Somali still no come. But uh, Chadonians can come. Watch the full special on Peacock. <laughs>